all right hey everyone um and welcome to my part two of the steel mountain walkthrough and this time we're going to be doing the manual exploits so uh no meta split so let's get started we start out with the redder 3000 like usual and i already did it for some reason port 8080 didn't show up uh but that's fine because we know it's there and we ran add map on that which i already did right here and yeah so we can go check that out right now Alright, so we get this employee of the month photo, and if we look at, look at the source code, we can see that his name is Bill Harper, and that's actually one of the questions that they ask, right here, you can just, you don't have to do anything with it, you guys just gotta control you, and you can see his name. Alright, so now we can check out port 8080. And we see an HTTP file server. We can click on that. And we can see it's running on Regetto. And we know there's an exploit on it. So let's go look at that up. And I think TryHackMe also gave you the link to the exploit. It's right here. But it should be um, this one. Yeah. So we can just download this. Let's see where that is. Um, it should be in my downloads folder. Yeah, it's right here. So let's just open this up and see what it's like. And okay, we can see the usage right here. So yeah, we can change the IP address right here ours and we can let's find that out right now so we can do sudo if config and i'll show your ip right here and just take that and paste it in for the local port uh let's just do 6969 and yeah let's try it out so um actually what's the usage again all right, so target IP address and the target port. So the target IP address would be Python. Okay, you can grab that right now. It's up here, just copy that. Target port, which is 8080. And what else? All right, you need to be running a web server hosting Netcat. Alright, so let's start that up real quick. Um, let's go into downloads and do it here. So sudo python oops dash um, it's kinda hard to type with my mic in the way. Simple HTTP server and what this will do is it will start up a new web server. Let's do it on port eighty eighty. Um sorry, just eighty. Um and yeah, and we'll also need to get that netcat static binary. So we can just download that on GitHub. Let's just download it and save file. And that should be in our downloads folder. So let's just go over there. LS, it's right here. Let's open this up again. I'll zoom in for you guys. This looks like we need to rename it to nc.exe, so let's just do that. So ls, if you guys didn't know how to rename it, you just type in move the name and then the new name. So the wrong one. Okay, let me do nc.exe. As you see, we renamed it. So that's good, and that should be about it. Got to netcat to the port actually. <laughs> Silly. And uh, LNVP and then port 6969 if you guys remember. Let's cancel this out. And, okay. Clear. Let's open that back up. Port 8080. Just 80, sorry. Let's grab that. You can see they grabbed it. So let's do that again. It should give us a shell. As you 
you can see we got a shell so that's good let's open this up let's go to our users folder um, cd slash users and we can uh, run windows with dir you can see bill is one of the users so that's probably where our user flag is so let's go over to bill we oh, sorry now let's do dir and it's usually the flag is in desktop so let's go check that out dir and you can grab your user flag right there so it looks like trihack me they want us to use winps and we can just do that so um let's do that And it should be in privilege. If you guys don't have WinPs, I'll leave the link to that down below. Um, and you guys can go get that. So CD WinPs, uh, WinPs, exe ls. Let's go to WinPs, and uh, should be in the over here ls. Should be here. Ls cd release ls winpeace.exe. Here it is. And we'll just copy winpeace and put that dot exe and move that to home Cali. So we can cd and we can see winpeace.exe is right here. So let's just copy that over. Alright guys, um, so we just started up our HTTP server on our home directory because that's where WinPs is and we can just get that with powershell-cw get our HTTP or IP on port 80 WinPs and then I'll file that to WinPs.exe and we do dir we can see WinPs is right over here. Okay, so now that we have WinPs we can just run WinPs. Uh, that VXC, and I'm pretty sure you can just type it in, and it'll do that for you. So, yeah, I'm just gonna run through its stuff, just let that run, and it's done. All right, it's done already. So, let's scroll up, see what we can find. Um, looks like it. We can try to search this for credentials, but we already done this with Metasploit earlier, and we already know what it is. Let's see if WinPeace picked up on it. Um, keep looking. All right, and here we go. Services information, and uh, check if you can overwrite some binary or perform DLL hijacking. And we can see right here, Advanced System Care Service Nine. If you guys remember that. So if you guys don't remember from last time, what we did was we uh, copied over one of this file. We used MSFN to generate a payload and we copy that onto this. And then what we did was we stopped the service and then we restarted it so that it ran our payload. And we can actually do that again. So why don't we just do that? And I'm not sure if you can still split your terminal. All right, six terminals, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, no, it's only five. I can't count one two three four five yeah it's only five and um let's just do msf venom and also i want to show you guys something if you guys don't remember how to do msf venom there's a website called pentis.ws you can just log in it's free i think there's a paid version now you can just log in oops Weak password, and then you can come in here to Venom Builder, and I'll just do it for you. But um, yeah, Let's see what payload you wanted us to use from last time. Mm. Okay, 
So let's come back here. And just search Windows. Uh, look for this right here. We don't want a interpreter session. The Windows shell reverse TCP. Where did it go? And here it is. Windows shell reverse TCP. Okay, there we go. Sorry for that. And our L host we is what is it? What's our IP? Um, I think it's right there, but I'll just do sudo if config. All right, so let's just grab that and set that as our L host L port um, nine six nine six. In our encoder, we're gonna do this thing, and I think that's about it. Pretty sure we can just copy and paste this here. And uh, let's just do an out file. I think it's just dash o, and we can call it dash asc service. What's the name? Okay, asc service, I believe. But we can just go check just to be sure. Scroll up. All right. Um. Yeah. Asc service.exe. So we can just call it that. Let's just copy this. Come back here. Let's run that. Let that run. And yeah, we got it. So let's ls. I mean, see, it's right here. So let's just grab that. We'll go to um, wherever this was. Uh, yeah, program files, I think. So. C, let's go to the home directory there. CD program files x86. Let's go over there, see what's up. CDIO bit there. You can see advanced system care. So let's just um, w get that again. So we can do, uh, let's check where, where do we put it. All right, it's in our home directory. All right. So let's just do PowerShell C. And then we can just do wget http. I forgot our IP again. Um, what's our IP? Just grab it from over here. And just like that. Just go back up here. Do it like that on port 80. And it's called ASC service, I believe. Man, I can't remember. AS ASC service okay yeah dot exe and let's just out file I think it was and ASC service dot exe alright so let's see if that worked and yep it's right here so what we want to do is we want to stop this advanced system care service nine alright so it looks like it stopped and now let's just copy that over. So copy um, ASC service exe over there to advanced system care. So it will overwrite. It, will, it should ask us to overwrite if we want to overwrite that file. And yes, it does ask us. And we're going to do yes. Yeah. So it overwrites that file. And now let's set up a netcat listener. And um, wow, six terminals. That's great. And we can just do netcat lnvp 9696. Let's go up. Oops. Come on. All right. There we go. And we're listening. So let's just do sc start. You can just zoom out. sc start advanced system care service 9. Should give us a shell. Failed. What did we do wrong? Let's just see if we can try that again. Let's see start advanced system care service nine. Let's see if that works again. And it failed.
Alright guys, we're back, and uh, I rechecked it, and it's supposed to be a non-stage payload instead of a stage payload. So I think that's what we did wrong, and we can just redo this entire thing, sadly. L host, and I keep forgetting RIP. Man. Pseudo if config Cali. Let's grab this. Let's hope it works this time. We're going to do L port. 4443 dash e x86 shikala die 9 whatever dash f exe dash o asc service dot exe so let's hope this works this time you can just run come on all right there we go so let's just copy that over again speaker actually yeah, are we able to remove it? ASC service that exe dir. No, we can't. Alright, I think it's actually delete ASC service dot exe. Is that it? Yes, okay, there you go. It's DL delete. So let's just copy this over again. PowerShell dash C uh, HTTP slash slash. What's in our clipboard right now? Is that our IP? Yep. Just copy that on port 80. And it's uh, what's it called? ASC service.exe. In quotes dash out file. We'll just call that ASC service.exe. Come on. Command not found. Oh, I forgot to write wget. That's what I did. Dash c wget um http uh, ip port 80 and it's called asc service dot exe and then we can just out file um, asc service dot exe. Come on, and we can see it actually grabbed it. So let's just do dir. And then we can just copy this ASC service that you see onto advanced system care. Overwrite, yes. And um, I think we stopped it. So let's just let's see start advanced system care service. Nine. Let's hope it gives us a shell. And uh, let's see if I remember what port it is so it's on port 4443 since I didn't change that so let's just change our netcat to LNVP 4443 all right so now let's start that and it gave us a show so if we do who am I we're NT authority system and let's just go back to slash users their CD admin is straight to CD desktop there as you can see there is your root flag so that's how we did um, steel mountain with the manual exploit and the reason why I split up these videos is because I want it to be like its own thing rather than just the same thing and you know yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please press the like button I think at the time of this recording we had like nine likes on that video which is awesome and it i think it's been less than 24 hours so thank you guys so much and um i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh i didn't really cut out the parts where i failed because i kind of want you guys to see them so yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and yeah i'll make some more walkthroughs and i hope you guys enjoyed them and you learned something i definitely learned something too so yeah i'll see you guys next time